Man, we only have a few rods set and we're already hooked up. Yeah, it's not very far out. Didn't feel like it hurt first. Perfect. Good start. There you go. All right, skunks out of the box. Nice one, Joel. Nice little lake trout. Not huge, but he's gonna taste great. That's for sure. Love lake trout. Fishing Lake Michigan out of Sheboygan again this morning with schools out fishing. Welcome back. My name is Dave. Fishing today with. Roger from Angler Quest. Yes, Roger Neeson from AnglerQuestPontoons.com. Check us out. We're out here. Beautiful morning and got one in the live well already. Awesome. Joel? Yeah, uh, Joel is just out here having a great time. I'm, I'm along for the ride, nothing Mooch. more than that. <laughs> we got Kate and Nicholas, the brains of the operation. Oh, yeah. He doesn't look like much, but he sure knows what he's doing. <laughs> and then Hannah, the stowaway. <laughs> Music analyst. Music analyst, yep. Yeah, like Roger said, we already got a lake trout in the box. This is gonna be awesome. Stick around, you'll be hooked. Did I mention we're fishing on a pontoon boat this morning? We're definitely gonna be doing some talking about that. But first, I wanna hear a little bit from Caden. What's the game plan for the beginning of the day here? Well, we're just gonna head out deep and start chasing some pods of rainbows and lake trout and cohos and maybe some big king salmon. They've been roaming around out here. They're all, all the fish are pretty scattered. Um, so we're just out deep trying to find them. Uh, we're running everything from five feet down all the way down to 85 feet down. So we're kind of covering a lot of water and we're able to do that with all this room in here. And yeah, it's pretty awesome. Why, why would you typically see rainbow trout and, and lake trout rather than, than king salmon, do you think? Uh, they school up a lot more out deep here. Well, they're just all kind of chasing after the same thing. A lot more bugs out here on the surface. We're going after brake lines and temperature changes. Um, that's kind of what we're after. Bigger numbers of kings kind of typically stay a little bit shallower as well, right? Yep, yep. Fished in 100 foot and got one bite. Yeah. And then... There's only fish, 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 fish! This one! Yep. Roger. Hannah! Yeah. Hannah's up. Hannah's up! She can't argue with it anymore. She's been arguing with us all morning. That looked more like a rainbow bite. Oh, good. is hooked up. Woo! Might be a rainbow trout, I don't know. It really smacked that board pretty hard, but staying down, so maybe it's another lake trout. <laughs> Explain the fight, what's it feel like? Not much. Oh, did you do this? I don't know, I think pass? so. I don't feel anything. <laughs> I need to pop off. Yeah, the board. That's heartbreaking, <laughs> but it happens to everybody. That's right. Texter said, hey John, we are fishing on a pontoon on Lake Michigan. Oh, we, we, we can What's broadcast that? from a pontoon, that'd be very easy. Could you play pontoon? And I hear you open. Here we go. Gap, 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 gap. Yeah. Woo! Hooked up, hooked yeah. up, Caden. <laughs> What did the fish bite on, Caden? Uh, a two color. I don't know what bait's on there, but. That was the green and orange oh, with yeah. a little squiggly glow. Yeah. Well, pontoon was playing. We got him though. Woo! Squirrely little bugger. Dude, beautiful fish, nice one. Get that thing in the live well. I'm gonna call this segment Salmon Tips with Caden and Dave. Salmon Tips with Caden and Dave. Always keep the least amount of lead core on the outside. Always wet monofilament before you tie a knot. That's Always it. keep your rod tip up. 2.4 miles an hour is a great starting speed for trying to find yeah. salmon and trout. Don't let slack in the line. Make big sweeping S turns so that lowers the baits in the water 
and brings the other ones up. Varies your speeds of the baits. This is Sam and Tibbs with Caden and Dave. All right, third time's the charm. <laughs> Not losing this one. I see him back there. Yeah? Gotta land this one. Yeah. Gotta. Sorry. My arm is so tired. <laughs> She's in the fighting pose. <laughs> Getting leverage on it. All right, you got one. Nice. Uh -oh. Yeah. Oh, another one, another one, another one, another one. Get him. Oh. Oh, that one popped off. Dang rainbows. Oh. Whoa. Oh, my God. It's huge. That's a rainbow. Roger's hooked up this time. I think it's a big rainbow trout. He's bulldogging. He's bulldogging. Are you still watching? Are you still on? This is a super long fight. It's a crazy fight. This is only a half hour show, guys. Well, that's depressing. This one's seeming like a lake trout again. Just took it out slowly. It's the only thing we're actually having luck getting to the boat today, though. Yeah, definitely a laker. We're now three for seven. This is our eighth bite. I'm guessing this is a lake trout, so we have a good chance of landing this one again, <laughs> finally. But man, we've had some terrible luck on the silverfish. Go, get the nice lake right trout. Here. Yeah, it's the only thing that we can keep hooked yeah. on today. <laughs> oh, those nice. lake trout bite on and they just keep on for the long ride. Yeah, nice little guy here. Add him to the pile. Yep, awesome, right. dude. Woo! All right, I get to play. Seems like a lake trout again, so I guess we got a pretty good, good chance of landing it. Two colors of lead core. Oh. I'm guessing he's in this There's one. There's a lot of weight. We're running five boards on each side this morning because the lake is pretty flat. So you do kind of run into a few more issues with tangles. Out of me again. There you go. Yeah. All right. Come on, two, let's check these guys out. All right. Check out that lake trout, what a beauty. I don't know, maybe seven or eight pounds. Awesome. Yep, diver. Woo! He's bucking, he's bucking. Nice. Roger's hooked up again after his depressing loss of that nice big king salmon. Let's see what he's got now. Get him, Roger! Get him! Get him! Again after his depressing loss of that nice big king salmon. Let's see what he's got now. Sure. They could be bigger. He's in! Nice! Woo. Salmon of some sort. What is it? King salmon. I'm sorry. That's right. The first king of the day. <laughs> Beautiful fish, Roger. The first king of the day. Nice. All right. Whoa. Keep rolling. Alright. Bring in another one. 
Look at that. Yep. Gorgeous fish. <laughs> Gorgeous fish. Look at that. Grab a kid. salmon. Look at that. Just a beaut. Oh! oh my god, it's right by my head! That's a rainbow. Are you sure you know how to do this, Kaden? I don't know. What are your credentials? Oh, first mate. I don't reel in rods. He would be a captain if he'd get his paperwork in. Yeah. He passed the test. No. Nope. Won't send in the forms. <laughs> We've had plenty of them on today. It's the first one that stayed pinned. We're fishing on Roger Neeson's pontoon boat today. Tell us what you like about your boat, Roger. <laughs> uh, well, I know where to start. Um, it's uh, This model here is uh, Pro Troll. It's the 24 foot Pro Troll. Um, Angler Quest makes a bunch of different models. Ideally, check them out at anglerquestpontoons.com. We're all, uh, out on the big water right now. It's got a triple tune underneath it, so handles big water. In a lot of ways, it's better than your traditional V-boat. Um, would this boat be perfect for an everyday angler out in Lake Michigan? No, because you know, you're gonna contend with wind on certain days. But you know, handling three footers, four footers, if you're a skilled uh, driver, you have no problems at all. Plenty of space, plenty of room on the front for lounging. Um, wash down system, if you see the uh, arch that we have in this boat, um, plenty of rods. I don't know how many we got out right now. Hang a gas grill on the side and cook some brats. But we got a live well full of fish. And um, you know, it, it's, it's hard to say what's my favorite feature. I think once you fish in these models and you see the space, you put away the ego of owning a pontoon and find out what these things are capable of doing, you're gonna be humbled. And you're gonna find out that, wow, you know, um, th these are great. So check them out, anglerquestpontoons.com. You got any questions, look us up on uh, um, Facebook, Instagram, um, the website, email us. I'm Roger Neeson. I'll answer any questions. You want to go for a ride? Get a hold of me. We'll set something up. That'll do it for this video. I had a blast fishing on Roger's pontoon out of Sheboygan, Wisconsin. I think we caught eight fish so far. We're going to keep fishing. I'm really glad that you watched. Thanks for sticking around. useful.